What's up everybody, I'm back here with you for another episode of Lead Dead Redemption. And for the first episode, we just finished out clearing some bandits out with the marshal. And we're going to go back to the marshal. And just, um, the coyote that I skinned and the bird that I shot, I just went and sold the meat and feathers in that, in the general store. And um, bought some apples and the mats for Chona Splings and Gap Tooth Lich. So I'll use those. And just as I'm making way, my way to the marshals, to the sheriff's office, a gang rode in, so I had to shoot up the place and I stopped them. I'll just do the Gap Tooth Lich as well. <laughs> my horse is walking past. So let's go and see the marshal, see what he's got for us this time. Come on, John. Justice on Pike's Basin. Hello. Yeah, let's go. Hello. It's Armadillo 731. What is it with these things? Hello. It's a new line. Hello. Hello. Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. Yeah, if it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. <coughs> Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshal! Marshal! <coughs> Marshal! I've just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I've seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Bollard twins and a couple of Mexicans. Are they up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm is most unbecoming, Eli. It's going to hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. It'd be my pleasure. <coughs> I'm a terrible mother. Let's go. Marshal, come on, hurry up. What's that? What's that Ernest Hoss is waiting for you? I don't work for the government. Well, I got a telegram from some federal clowns in Blackwater that says otherwise. Are you some kind of vigilante? You don't look like no government, boy. I guess it's complicated. I came because it was made impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight-lipped son of a bitch, mister. I guess I am. I ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Well, ain't you all proud and superior? Don't forget you need us more than we need you. Bill Williamson folded you up like an empty purse the last time, if I remember correctly. Remember down, Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. Otherwise, <laughs> I'll put a hole in your hillbilly head and watch your tiny brain drain out. I'll be honest with you, Marson. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash, taming a wild land. We're nearly there. Keep your eyes out for the ballers. I guess that's that still over. <laughs> All right, boys, let's proceed on foot from here. Let's move up the canyon towards the fort. Let's go then. Be ready, boys. We're probably going to be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. Let's smoke him. 
But that's just the outlaw part of me talking. What are we doing? Two of them, so it will make not go to one side to the other. I don't know. Shit, no shoot. Nice of you to give an old man a hand. I'm coming, Marshall. Eyes up, boy. Behind that rock. You better surrender! You hear? Alright, come on, Marston. Let's push on. Come on! The deputies are making some ground over there. Come on, John. There's more of them! That bastard won't be rustling no more. There's one of them. Alright, let's move down and take those bastards in the camp. Let's go. Put down your guns and surrender. You got one. Nice shot. All right, search the camp, Marson. I'll wait for you a short ways up this ridge. This is mighty generous of you, mister. We got anything. This guy got anything? Just ammo. Oh yeah, he's had some money, cool. Alright, let's go, Jam. Come on, Marshall. Watch out. Looks like there's a couple of snipers over there. Look out! There are them snipers! Get those thieving bastards! Okay, I'm coming. Let's get him. Okay, you got him all. You got him all, Marshall. Good job. Come on, come on, come on. This looks as good a spot as any. Gather around and listen up. Alright, stealthy as you can, boys. Let's get as close to those bastards as we can. Stealthy as you can, and then you let you learn into a rock. Marshall, what, what was that about? Shooting, boy! There's one more, the What the 
Alright, come on, John. Get the hell down there. I think that's all of them. Fine shooting, boys. Now, come on, let's untie those hostages. <clears throat> Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. Alright. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. Say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was due in town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. Okay, well, I haven't got to hurt, hurt all the cows. You're on your own with that, that marshal. So, there's anything at this camp if I go. Oh, there's a container there. I didn't even see it. What is it? $17. Sweet. Look at this body. Anything? Nothing, really. Pistol I haven't got a pistol. What good's that gonna do? Sixteen dollars in that one. Hey, I'm gonna be rich soon. I'll already checked that one. This is the last ten. Fourteen dollars. Hey, hundreds of dollars, I'm rich. Hundreds and seven dollars. Where's my horse? No, I don't want to get on that horse. I want to get on my horse. Now do I make it back? Actually, we're quite close to McFarlane's land. We've got to see what Barney's got. Anyway, in the wilderness, choose the camp item from the other side, and put up a camp and save. 
Okay. Okay, let's go see what Barney's got. Fathers. Barney! Women and cattle. Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. Uh, I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that? I wonder as a substitute for having anything interesting to say. Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. Call me Bonnie. Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks. Trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that game. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true, especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute, and he was her, well, I don't, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read, taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man, in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left, or tried to leave. Ah, oh, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure, point me in the right direction. Okay, let's go. How are you? All right, let's head over to the cow pen. It's about time a budding farmer such as yourself learned how to herd cattle. Whoa there! Thank you for telling me all that back there. It must have been hard for you. Hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're... they're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that, but thank you. How are you, Miss McFarland? Oh, 
I'm okay. Over the side. Slow down. Okay, come on, Cavs. Come on. Nice job, Mr. Marston. Keep on moving. Turn the cows down the road. Pretend you know what you're doing. You'll be a ranger. Ain't that hard? Come on, you dumb heifer. Oh, come on. This way. We need to take them out to the pasture. Yes, I know. I'm trying. Come on, move. Move you stupid cows. Whoa, whoa. Easy. Slow up. Oh, go. Come on, cows. Get moving. Move! Okay, we've got some more cows there. Is this the pasture or...? Oh, we just got to move more of them. Yeah, we just got to move more of them. Agla, catch up. Should we not get a dog to do this? <laughs> yes, did it. There's some flowers that I can pick. You're not bad with the <coughs> Ranching might be your true calling, Mr. Marston. Either that, or you were a cow in a past life. Thank you, Miss McFarlane. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch. Maybe I was a cow in a past life. How the hell am I to know? I want that flower. Wild fever feud. Back next to a while for you to start the rank of start the first rank of the survivalist challenge. What's that? Is that collecting fever few? Yeah, click six wild fever few found in Hedigan's stead and Shoulder Springs. Complete challenges to unlock the wards and become a legend of the West. Barney? Well, yeah, let's do another Barney mission. Is it Babel yet? Come back up to 6pm. What time is it now? We've got half past five. Half past five, is that PM or AM? I think that might be PM. Sure, we can wait. I'll head into the store. So if we've got anything that I can sell. Howdy, friend. Sure. Oh, wild feed with you. There you go. All genuine stuff here. Sure, I'll take some steak on. And some ammo. I'll take some ammo as well. Okay, I got some shelf space needs filling. Well, I hope you're leaving satisfied one way or another. Well, hello there. Is it any time yet? Oh, it's only 15 minutes. Okay. Anything else I can do? Don't Wait, what? John, what are you doing? This is too much. 
get some more supplies. Get some more ammo there. I didn't really need to buy any. No, seven ninety-three. So that hundred hundred bullets for each. So no, I didn't really need to buy any. Any time yet? Five two. I'll go go for the run. Yeah, I think it's I think it is it even in time. Yes it is. It's available now. No, I don't want to do the night watch. I'll go see Barney first. Priorities: wild horses, tamed passions. Well, hello, Let's see if I Mr. can't fall Marston. off a horse again. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father, John Marston? This is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians, tough men. And we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, terrible winters, cholera. I buried more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiven sun. That whole herd of cattle was take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace, and men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. You're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. And sneaking around and spying and secret missions. It's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie, we got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> you're gonna need this. Mr. Marston. Right, now you got some rope on your belt. Let's see if we can't wrangle some horses. Hey, okay, let's go. Oh, we've got horses here. some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret it sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a dead man's eyes. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, 
I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy but the I know ride? we're only as free as they say we are. Power's like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there are few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. No, I ain't on. I mean arguing with that either. You may have a point. Hey, that's the There's hurt. horses! Get that lasso ready! Rope one of them for me, Marston! That's enough! Jeez. Hold on, Marston! Don't lose him! Okay, get him! Come on, then. Come on, come on. Come on, no. Don't fall off, John. Get another. Hey, you're getting one, Bunny. Uh, he's gonna on, let, let me do all the work. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. He's going. Easy. Easy. Don't chuck me off. Come on, boy. Happy to Don't chuck me off. Like, right, calm down. Whoa, there. You're mine now. See? Yes. Look at See? that. Not gonna do You're nothing. Natural. Nice work. I think that'll do it for today. Let's get back to the ranch. I'll lose today. It's night time. Let's go. I like your father. I'm glad. He's quite a character. You have a good life here. The life I want. For me and my family, I mean. We don't have a lot anymore. You have enough. It's one that gets so many folks in trouble. It'll sap your spirit and make you poor. But it's straight. And it's decent. There's no better night's sleep than after an honest day's work. It's no wonder you look so tired, then. So <laughs> Deck must be shy of Joker, Miss McFarland. Who'd have thought you'd be such a natural at Weston Broncos? That was fun. I think you could be a fine rancher one day, if you can bear to stop killing people for a living. Sure. Sure. was saying some horses have been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. Come on, Mr. Marston. Let's head for Armadillo. Okay, Careful. let's go. You almost knocked me clean off. You never did tell me why you were never married. Aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure ask a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a catch. The fact that you're talking in the past says it all. No, that's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors, that's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there. A ranch in the middle of Hennigan's stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countryfied. Where'd you get your airs and graces, Miss McFarland? From a couple of chief governesses Paul hired to save us from being savages. I'd like to talk about more than just cattle and chickens sometimes, that's all. And after my brother left, it was up to me to become the man of the ranch. He never 
never admit it, but my pa's a lot frailer than he looks. You're worth two of any man I know, miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. In many ways, my wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? Looks like the ranch hand's up ahead. <laughs> That's in that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Let's drive them up the canyon where it narrows. We'll trap them there. Okay, what we're doing? Oh, we're herding them. No, I just need time to catch them. We're herding them. Where are the herd? Over there somewhere. Get a move on. Come on, horses. Let's go. Because of course they learn to a lock. So did you not see it? Don't go that way. I got him. Got you, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Relax now. Nearly there. Uh. Whoa. Come on. Now he got you, Charlie. That's it. Yes, I got you. Thanks for your help today, Mr. Marston. We got some fine horses. You know, why don't you keep that stallion as your own? As a thank you from all of us. Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal. Oh, 
Ross is herded. Plus six. Oh no, plus 150. Okay, we're not far from Armadillo, are we? Is that? Oh, that's not in Armadillo. Okay. Yeah, we'll go see what. We'll go see West Dickens. Let's go. You're both in the Kentucky sadly. Alert and agile horse. Is that what? That's what I'm adding now then. I'm assuming. Oh, there's a flower there. I'll take that. How is it? I don't want that. Uh. Aim at it. Armadillo. Where's the other one? Oh, there's a planet. Somewhere. Where is it? There it is. That's another wild fever fuel. That will help towards my um or is it survivalist? Blanking. Is it yes yeah, survivalist? Oh, we're not landing that horse anymore. I got this horse back. Alright, fair enough. Come on. Okay, you, you flee against Stallion. Let you, let you go wild again. At the marshal's office. Stage is found throughout the world. All you need of assistance, they are marked with a question mark on your map. Okay, hello. Slug, madam. They took my boy. My boy. Who did? He's missing. He's only a youngster. My boy is missing. Where? Who took him? Them people in the hills. Them hills near Hanging Rock. They took him. <laughs> Can't the police force help you? Oh, they can't even help themselves. Please, sir. My son is missing. I need your help. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. <laughs> okay, I'll do that instead, I think. Please, sir. Okay, hurry up and save. I to change my waypoint. Up here. Get away from me. Let's go. This way. Oh, there. Let's go. And I've fallen off again. You just play Led Dead 2 because this the whole stamina lasts longer than that. Yeah. Wait, where, where do I need to go? Over to the left. To the right. Yeah. 
Okay, that is what's happening. Is that what it is? Oh, this doesn't look good. Search for clues. I've got a bone there. On a shoe. Yeah, that doesn't look promising. I, I don't think we're going to find him. I think an appetite is complete. Back to West Dickens. So he's got fuzz. How much money have I got? I have twenty-one dollars. That's not only that much. I probably could have just got the stagecoach there, but I lied. I need birds I can shoot, so I'll get my mask hunter. Or is it sharpshooter? Let's shoot them birds. No, it's sharpshooter, I think, actually. Mask hunter's a Give five coyotes. Not the deer. I don't want it. I don't want the deer. No, not the wolves. Run. Run. What was the pan there? Thank you. Is it? Yes, it is. Can that play at them now? I think I've got. I think. Yeah, halfway there. Survivalist. Where's my horse? There. So we probably have the black horse. You can't see it when it's night down. Swindler Blues. Excuse me, sir. You need help? Mister, you alive? Oh, fuck, oh, fuck. God damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Uh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. Oh. <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. Oh. 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 Hurry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. I'm 
Finished! Done for! Just sit up straight, will you? The closest doctor is in Armadillo! Alright, we gotta go. Stand the line. What is your name, friend? John Morstan. Oh, good God! Out of the frying pan into the fire. Excuse me? How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? You must have me mistaken with somebody else, friend. The Bollard twin. Walton's gang. I know who you are. My God! They come back and finish me off! You're killing me! You back out the damn horse! We're doomed without that horse! Go home, buddy! Is that all of them? Raise me! There's still hope! Please! Okay, I'm stuck. Keep moving! Oh no, I'm stuck. What the hell happened to you? Bandits! Hoodlums! The scoundrels robbed me blind and left me to die! I can see that. Once again, a victim of my own success. They seem a man in a well-cut suit and this happens! Do you know who they were? No idea. I'm not the kind of man who has enemies. Come on. Now. There you go. I give so much and still they take. I got one horse. Uncivilized and graceless world. What the hell happened to the other horse? But he's its humor sometimes. Still, at least I met you. The good Samaritan in wolf's clothes. And forgive me. Pain is playing rare havoc with my metaphors. I'm coming in back. Hopefully. I don't believe it! More of the gutter snipes! Ah! How many bullets can one man take? Um, what? I knew this wasn't my time. He has a greater purpose for me. You're delirious and playing dumb, friend. Fate brought you to oh, me. No, 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 I'm not gonna make it. I can't carry on. Oh, no. I think he's dead. Is he dead? Fuck. I'd have made it if I'd, if I'd still got two horses. Yeah. 
Christ's sake, man, you're gonna be fine. Thank We're nearly you there. Into your arms. Oh, hello. You need more than a doctor, my friend. This is it. You're gonna make it. Oh, oh. where the devil are we? Armadillo. We made it safe, you'll be happy to know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. Oh, Jesus. But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for... for... Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. Okay, we did it on the second time asking. 100 plus 100. Good. Well, that's another mission. Come back after 9 a.m. today. Okay. Nigel's bones will take some time to heal. While you are waiting, you could further explore New Austin. Okay. But unfortunately that's all I've got time for in this episode of Led Dead Redemption. So if you enjoyed if you enjoyed the video then I'll see you next time. But until then, it's goodbye for now from me.